Hey friends, it's Will Taylor, leader of Strings Attached. Karen and Will duo. I am talking to myself again. I'm thinking about changing the podcast name to Talking to Myself. And I just want to express how much I still love the culture of pubs and bars. don't drink anymore. I haven't had any alcohol for two months. No coffee. I'm feeling great. <clears throat> feeling great. I go, I have Topo Chico's. They make grapefruit Topo Chico's now. But one of the things that I love about bars is the possibility of spontaneous community, spontaneous connection. Where else in our culture, at the end of the day, without any plans whatsoever, can I just pop in and there be an understanding if I walk up to the bar stool and somebody is next to me, that though there's an understanding that we might have a conversation. And if I turn over to them and say something, there's an understanding that that will happen and that won't be weird and there won't be a separation between us. How beautiful is that? What are, what other areas in our culture? I'd like to know. I can't think of any where you can spontaneously show up. I mean, dancing is one, but dancing usually occurs at a bar too. Where can you go without any advanced planning and have spontaneous, unplanned, random community and meet people? You get some uncertainty. You get some shininess. You get to be shiny in the face of somebody else. You get the possibility of, of connection and newness. Bars. Where else can you get that? If you go play, if you go bowling, everybody's in their separate lanes. There's, there's a, a, a sense of separation there. Dad, are you watching this? <clears throat> Where else could I go? Tell me. I can't think of anything else besides a bar. If I go uh, roller skating or ice skating, Separation. People are keeping to themselves. <clears throat> I think there must be places in Europe that... Maybe the bathhouses. If I go to the sauna at the gym, I guess there could be an understanding that we might have a conversation. And I like this idea of having a... kind of stems from this. A, a rejection practice. The idea of sort of testing yourself and putting yourself in uncomfortable situations or, or situations where you may be out of your comfort zone conversationally. I think that's fun to kind of take the edge off of those situations. I am talking to myself right now and I'm so loving it. Nobody is tuning in out there. If you are tuning in later and you want, you're watching this, where else can you get that spontaneous community, spontaneous newness, spontaneous on-demand uncertainty, adventure. But where else can you get that but at hanging out at a bar? If you go to a park, uh, you know, there's separation. People are hanging out with their families and their kids. You can't get that at a park. If you go to a concert, people are coming with their friends. If you go to dinner, there's separation. Maybe if you're on a walk and you pass somebody and say, hey, what's up? You get a little spontaneous connection. But where can you get you go to ecstatic dance, you have the possibility of having some spontaneous connection with somebody non-verbally. So ecstatic dance holds that possibility. I'm just going to stay online here. So I'm headed to a bar and I'm going to sit down and read a legal document over at Topo Chico. And if anybody wants to join me, I'll be at the Little Woodrow's in South Park Meadows. Yeah, for about an hour. Enjoying a Topo Chico and reading a legal document. And I would love to have some spontaneous connection with anybody out there. Let's, let's be friends for an hour. Let's be friends for 15 minutes. Tell me your, your, uh, some of your life story. That's what I think is great about bars. And I think that's what's great about having a regular bar that you show up. Maybe you have regular friends that show up place outside of your home. That's, I think the idea for the show Cheers really harnessed that idea of spontaneous connection and connection away from home where you aren't known as the person who doesn't put the toilet seat up. You're not known as the person who forgot to do the dishes. You're just known as Norm or Will. 
You're not known as the person who who regularly doesn't close the chicken coop up. You're just known as the cool composer, violinist guy, leader of Strings Attached, who comes in to the bar occasionally. Where are the cool bars to have a cool conversation? You know, a lot of the, some of them don't have that kind of open feeling. So what places I like, Little Woodrow's, um, Indian Roller, there's a one a small bar over near William Cannon and South Congress. Join me if you're just tuning in. Come join me at Little Woodrow's and let's have a conversation over a grapefruit Topo Chico, shall we? Sid, how's it going? All right, well, if nobody else is going to come on and say anything, I guess I'll leave now. Take care, everyone.